What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to finally be sharing our rental friendly modern farmhouse bathroom makeover. This video is inspired by my friend Megan. She shares amazing budget friendly makeovers over on her channel. And as soon as Marshall and I moved into this new apartment, I just, I knew I wanted to change up a few things and the bathroom was one of them. We are going to be decluttering, organizing, and I will also be sharing a rental friendly do it yourself project that I know you will all love. So if you are excited to see this transformation, then give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and let's jump right on into it. In one of my last videos, I actually shared an entire bathroom deep clean and I actually organized underneath my sink. And in that video, I had mentioned that I wanted to get like bins or something just to kind of help make this space a little bit more efficient. And one of my lovely subscribers actually recommended using a Lazy Susan. And I thought about it for a bit and I actually had an extra one on hand. So I thought that was perfect and I just thought it was a great idea. So right now I'm just putting all the products that I use on a regular basis onto the Lazy Susan just so that they're easier to access. And in my opinion, I think it does look a lot better. But while I go ahead and do that, I would love for you all to go check out Megan's channel here on YouTube. Like I said, she was my inspiration for today's video and she is also either super close to hitting 100,000 subscribers or by the time you guys are seeing this video, she might have already hit it. Either way, she deserves it all and I would love for you all to go check out her channel, watch some of her videos, subscribe, and just be there to congratulate her. That is such a huge milestone and I will make sure to have all of her info linked down below in my description box. And I won't stop, I won't slow down Steady on my feet, I'm gonna rise up No, I won't stop, it is my time Now I'm gonna go ahead and go through these four drawers on our bathroom vanity. The top one is Marshall's and he already actually had some clear organizers in there, but I wanted to go ahead and pull everything out, give it a good wipe down and then reorganize everything. Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. So my drawer is the next one down and it is a complete mess. I actually just picked up the same clear organizer as Marshall and I got them both at Home Goods. They were only a few dollars. The next two drawers down below mine, that is just like extra random stuff. The bottom drawer actually had some towels in it that I took out because I had completely forgotten I put them in there. I couldn't find the rest of them. So I'm glad that they were located, but I want them to be a little bit easier to access. So I'm actually gonna find a spot for them in the linen closet when I go ahead and organize that. I know what it's like to be broke, yeah. I know what it's like when nothing goes your way. So I'm gonna let myself enjoy the fruit from this lucky day. Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. <laughs> yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down. Now it's time to tackle the entire linen closet and I'm actually gonna start by taking everything out just so that I can see what I'm working with and then just find a better and cuter solution. I would love it if all of our baskets matched, but the ones we have work just fine and I'm also saving a ton of money. And I just wanna add that if you guys are looking for some cheap but cute organizational bins, definitely check out either the Dollar Tree or maybe your local thrift shop or even Amazon has some cute affordable options. I won't slow down Cause I am on my way oh, I won't slow down Yeah, I am on my way oh, I won't slow down I don't know if you guys are like me, but I never realize how much stuff I actually have until I pull it all out and I'm just staring at it and I need to go through it all. Depending on the space, it can sometimes be very overwhelming. So if you are deciding to tackle a big project, my suggestion would first be to make sure you are in the right headspace and just ready to tackle it and also take baby steps. If taking every single thing out of a closet stresses you out, then maybe do it like one shelf at a time. 
I will say for me personally that when I do tackle a true KonMari and I take everything out at once, I typically end up decluttering more than when I just do like a small or a quick clean. So just keep that in mind. But I think the biggest thing though is what works for me may not work for you. So just remember to focus on yourself and take baby steps if you need to. fireworks thought nothing could break us but oh how we got burned look at us now we scream we fight and no one knows the reason we're both getting out of line mm -mm. now say goodbye and try to move on i'll get over you only wish that i knew how to go on When Marshall and I moved into this apartment just a few months ago, I didn't really spend too much time organizing. I just knew what went where and just kind of stuck everything in it just to kind of make everything fit. I didn't really take the time to go through it all and really find a place for everything. So now that everything is unpacked, I'm very excited to start decluttering and organizing this apartment. Try to say goodbye You know we had our problems So now we have to try to move on Baby, you and me, we're so messed up together something but now i'm left with an empty heart no making amends no waking up beside you and holding you till we forget it all how could i know there was no second chances like tommy This basket actually has all of our like medicine, our first aid kit and just things like that. And I actually was just gonna put it right in the shelf because I went through it right before we moved into this apartment. So I thought it was all organized, but when I put it in the shelf, I noticed it was very, very messy. So I made sure to pull it back out and I'm gonna go through it all right now.
If you guys are liking today's video so far, I would love it if you would all take a few seconds to give this video a big thumbs up and also hit that red subscribe button. I promise once we get done organizing, we will get into the bathroom updates and I'm really excited to share that with you guys. I'm telling you now that I did not go crazy with the updates. We do live in an apartment, so this is obviously not our forever home, but I still really wanted to enjoy the space that we're in, so I decided to go ahead and do some small updates. I did my best to use what we had around the home. Like this gold basket, it was just kind of sitting in our closet collecting just random stuff. So I decided to go ahead and empty it out and just use it to store all of our hand towels. I think my biggest tip to you guys is that you do not need to go out and spend a ton of money to update your space. Just shop around your house. Another tip I have is to put a few bars of soap near your towels in the linen closet. You can get bars of soap from pretty much anywhere, but I get mine from the Dollar Tree and it's just a great and inexpensive way to help keep everything stay fresh and smelling great. I actually started doing this about a year or so ago and before, even though my towels were clean, obviously they still smelt a little odd. And I don't know if it was from our baskets that we kept in here or like the fact that it was like a closed closet, I'm not sure but now I don't have to worry about it. I would love to know if any of you guys do this or if I'm just a weirdo, I don't know. Please let me know down below in the comments. So in the middle of this bathroom transformation, my sister Haley called me and she didn't know I was filming during this time. So shout out to Haley if you're watching this, but right now I'm just taking down our old shower curtain and our shower liner because I actually picked up a new set. We've had these current ones for quite a few years and they were just ready to be replaced. The shower curtain somehow got like a bleach stain on it and I think it might be from like one of my cleaners when I was trying to scrub out the shower and our shower liner is just absolutely disgusting. So definitely time to replace. I picked up our new shower liner at Walmart. It was only a few dollars. I don't remember the exact price. And then in a minute, I will be showing you our new shower curtain. Bornschel and I actually picked it up at Home Goods for only $20, which I thought was a great deal considering it's like super great quality. And other places that we looked at with similar curtains are at least $30 or more. So I'm really happy about our purchase. When we were picking out a new shower curtain, we kind of knew we wanted to stick with like the gray theme, especially because I had just purchased a light gray bath mat, or I should say like a rug for in front of our vanity. I picked it up at Ikea. And when we saw this like light gray waffle pattern, we both just loved it. I actually got the bath mat first. So this one is actually a recent purchase. I do gravitate more towards like the dark grays, but I'm really glad we went with something a little bit different because I figured what's the point of even replacing it if it's just the exact same color gray that we just had. So that was like the main reason why we went with a lighter option. Why you wanna let me go na, na, now? Are you saying that to change your mind? For love or pity, let me know na, na, now. Cause you love me. All right, you guys, this is the part that I'm so excited to share with you all. 
So when I shared our empty apartment tour a few months ago, I took you guys into every single room of the apartment. And when I shared the bathroom, I actually mentioned this. I wanted to add in like different shelving. When we actually toured this place on FaceTime, there were no shelving in the unit that we toured. There was no mention of it. So we thought it was actually gonna be this large open space to put like whatever we wanted. So it was kind of a surprise to us when we got this apartment. Um, and although I like the white shelves, they're not my favorite. So I figured this would be fun to do a little rental friendly project and kind of spruce this space up a bit. But first things first, I'm gonna start by removing everything from these shelves and just wiping them all down using my Mrs. Meyer spray and a microfiber cleaning cloth. So to build our shelves, we just measured out the existing shelves that were already in there. We did the math and then went to Lowe's to purchase wood. This is where Marshall really came in handy because Lord knows I would have measured wrong and I didn't want to waste time and money. So I looped in Marshall to help me out with this project. But once we had them home, we measured them out and cut them with a handsaw. Yes, we sawed each piece by hand. We could have brought them up to our parents' house where they do have an actual saw and it probably would have been a lot quicker, but I wanted this to be as rental friendly as possible. Thankfully, the wood we chose was not super thick, so it really didn't take that long. We have five total shelves in our bathroom, so we just cut five pieces of the larger wood and five of the smaller wood. It made a huge mess, as you guys can imagine, so I went ahead and cleaned that up with our vacuum. I also wanna mention that building these shelves took a few days. This was not done in just like a quick 30 minutes. The first day, we bought the wood, measured them out, and cut them. The next day, I went ahead and sanded all the edges down using just a sanding block that we already had on hand. I didn't go crazy, but since we did use a handsaw, there were some spots that were just kind of sharp and I wanted to make sure that we didn't cut ourselves or ruin the walls and I figured it would be a lot easier to stain if everything was smooth. I used to think I had plenty of dreams and light in my life. So my glass was half empty, but you came along Once all the pieces were sanded, I went ahead and vacuumed up the mess I made and then I laid down some plastic because again, we do live in an apartment, so there's not really room to do it outside. I mean, we probably could have made some room out in the grass area, but there's a lot of people that walk back and forth, so I just didn't want to deal with that. But I actually used a dark stain that we already had on hand. This is very inexpensive, especially for a project this size. A small can, I actually bought this at Lowe's a few years ago. And if I can remember correctly, it was only like $4. I've used it for so many projects, especially in our last apartment. Um, a little stain does go a long way. So this jar has lasted me, I wanna say like at least a year, maybe even two. And as I was staining these pieces, I actually set up a little like wooden lift outside with the leftover wood on our like patio area so that they could air dry. We gave them a good 24 hours to dry. We actually left them outside for I want to say around four hours the night before and then before we went to bed we brought them inside because if you guys know we live in Minnesota and it's been pretty cold here especially in the nights and we didn't want anything to happen to them.
Aren't you tired of the drama? You use your words like they are knives. Mm-hmm. I don't need that type of drama. And trying to be tough for the day time. You try to make yourself feel better by taking me down. Once I fell, but now I'm strong, I'm ready for the rematch. Like I said, this process did take a few days. So now that everything's done, we are finally ready to start assembling the shelves. Marshall actually found a pack of screws and we just used two for each shelf. We drilled one on each end. We built them in like an L shape because the idea we had was just to be able to put them over the existing shelves in the bathroom, kind of like a cover, so that when it's time to move out, we can just lift them off and there is gonna be no damage, hopefully. Try to make yourself feel better by taking me down. Once I fell, but now I'm strong, I'm ready for the rematch. Oh my gosh, you guys, Marshall and I cannot believe how good these shelves turned out. We think it just adds so much to this space and it's just like a little bit more our style than the plain white shelves. But now to style them. I am actually just using a lot of the stuff that we already had in here. And again, shopping our home to find pieces that work really well and fit this space. I do end up switching some things in and out quite often and I finally found something that works. So make sure to stay tuned until the very end to see that. In case any of you guys are curious, I am someone who loves taking baths. So I actually picked up this glass jar at Walmart for around, I think $5. I got it like a month or so ago. So if you guys are interested, it should still be there. I got it in the kitchen section, but I never got around to actually putting my bath salts in it. Um, as you can see, I do not have that many bath salts left and I need to go get some more to really fill this jar, but I think it's the perfect addition to this new space. Next, I'm just adding in all of my perfumes and I'm keeping my wedding day perfume right in the middle because it's obviously very special to me and I want it front and center. But after I got all my perfumes up, I decided, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and take out my older ones and just keep my high-end perfumes and the ones that I use most often. There are some perfumes that I've had here from high school. They're almost empty, so I don't know why I still have them, but I just don't think they need to be displayed anymore. I think I'm gonna store them underneath my sink so that when they run out, I can throw them, but for now, I don't think they need to actually be on these shelves. Here is just a quick before shot to remind you all of what the shelves look like before and here is the after. I am absolutely obsessed and I think it really just adds to this space so much. I am happy that when we move out we can just lift these shelves off and take them with us. Everything that I used to decorate these shelves I already had on hand. The only thing that I actually purchased I think were the $5 glass jar that I got a month ago and then this pumpkin I actually got this year from the Target dollar spot. It was actually in our bedroom on Marshall's nightstand, but I just thought it looked so much better in here, so I did go ahead and move it. I would love to know your guys' thoughts on these shelves. Do you love them? Do you hate them? Are they not your style? Whatever it is, I would love to know down below in the comments.
last thing I want to do in here is just to really wipe off our bathroom vanity. It got pretty dirty, especially after going through everything and pulling it all out. So once that is done, the rental friendly bathroom makeover is complete. really hope you all enjoyed today's video. I had so much fun redoing this space and just sharing the entire process with you guys. Obviously, as you can tell, we didn't do an entire bathroom renovation. We live in an apartment, so we are limited to what we can and can't do. And also we're not planning to be here for a very long time. We really want to buy a house, but on the other side, we also really want to enjoy the space we currently live in. So to us, it was worth it to upgrade what we could. If you guys liked today's video, I would love it if you would all give this video a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button. If you guys want to see some more rental friendly do it yourself projects, then please let me know down below in the comments. I would love to do that for you guys, but I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.